Well, if you're one of those folks like myself who lets out a big groan, you get off a couch or you bend over, today's checklist is for you. We're going to talk about how to deal with some of the most common aches and pains, especially as we get older. So here to help us out, Dr. Karen Sutton, an attending orthopedic surgeon in sports medicine at the Hospital for Special Surgery. Dr. Sutton, good morning to you. Good morning. We were just talking a few minutes ago, Chanel, Dylan, and myself about this segment's for us. Yeah, there we go. We're going to get it we all would... accomplished. So, I mean, here's the thing. Like a lot of folks, they'll have a little pain, or maybe even a, 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 a more than a little pain, and they just assume it'll go away. This is something that's going to pass. It's not a big deal. How can we assess whether it's actually a big deal? I think it's important to go through the checklist and really understand the pain. One thing we do as an orthopedic surgeon, we're like the sleuth, the detectives of pain. And so we love if people can describe the pain. And here we talk about take inventory of your pain. Start mm -hmm. to think about it. The first thing that you would think about if we're talking about a shoulder, for example, is whether you're having stiffness, weakness, pain, or instability. Stiffness where it's not really moving very mm -hmm. much. Weakness where maybe you're having trouble reaching overhead. Pain, obviously, we like to understand what the pain is. And then instability is something popping out of socket or moving too much. Oh, okay. All right. That's my world. Chanel's got you. Next. Yeah, so here's the thing. I think a lot of people, like, you feel like you slept on your arm wrong or your neck is stiff or what have you, and you don't want to use medicine every single day. Right. Do you have some options that can maybe help non-medical fixes? Yeah, fortunately, we're getting away from just taking a pill to fix every something. Yep, yep. And we know more about, really, there are basic things that can help us to treat pain. How do you know whether you should use ice or heat? So typically what we think of is heat starts to warm up things. So we warm up our joints, we warm up our muscles. So before you do something, you heat. Okay. At the end of the day, you ice. As If you look at some of the Major League Baseball players, are always ice on their shoulder. So heat before and ice after. Okay. And then I think this one is interesting. You have adjust activity exercise and modify your environment. I think people think they can walk it off yeah. or run it off, especially if you're an athlete or if you, you know, you're running and you hurt your ankle. Is that the best thing? Because sometimes it seems like if you shake it off, it gets better. Yeah, interestingly, joints love to be moved, so they like to stay in motion. Okay. The trouble is maybe you might need to switch from running to cycling or something that might have less impact to your to body. To give it a break. Yes. All right, so let's say you do have to go to the doctor. You know, sometimes you okay. go and then you leave and you say, oh, shoot, I didn't ask this, I didn't do that. All the time. Let's talk about, yeah, preparing. <clears throat> What we love as physicians is if a patient comes in and is very efficient and they keep a journal of their pain, ah. sometimes they're a little embarrassed and say, let me just reach into my notebook and show you what I'm doing. But it's great because then we take inventory a little bit better of their pain. A timeline's really nice. Did it just happen or was it three months and all of a sudden they decided to come in? Um, and the next part is really bring someone with you. So if you can have another historian that's going to go through your pain with you, it really helps us to not miss important aspects of the event or the pain. Okay. Good deal. And Dr. Sutton, how do you decide what doctor to go to for a particular pain? Are there various options? I think it's great first to start with potentially your primary care physician or for kids, their pediatrician, because they have a global assessment of that person. And then I think from there, you can direct certain care. But it's great because now we do have really nice teams that can be involved in our care. So as an orthopedic surgeon, we work a lot with acupuncturists who have very alternative ways to treating pain. And again, avoiding the pills or taking something as a quick fix. Mm -hmm. a chiropractor who has different ways and different techniques that can, they can aid with getting rid of the pain. Physical therapists we work with all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm always con in constant communication with our physical therapists. And then an, ath an athletic trainer, especially for sports, for athletes, mm -hmm. they work with them all the time. to modify how you're doing something. It's not always sports related or, you know, a physical reason why you're in pain. What are some mm -hmm. of the other possibilities that could lead to pain? Yeah, it's really important to understand your body before you're going down that path line. Think about did something change in your life? Did something change in your lifestyle? And stress, that increase in cortisol level in our bodies, can really play a role in it, where maybe something that didn't bother you as much before is really becoming more sharp, more aching, and it's affecting your daily routine or your exercises. Getting sleep is a wonderful recovery tool. So if you've worked really hard, you've ran a race, you've competed in a big weightlifting thing, then sleep can help your body recover. So if you're not getting enough sleep, that can be a problem. Okay. And nutrition, and obviously, nutrition important, obviously. too. Yes. Well, thank you so much, thank you. Dr. Sutton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So very helpful tips we are all going to take. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.